Hello everyone and welcome to this two-part spine overview video. My name is Son Nilsson and in this first part I'll be going through how to set up your assets in setup mode, what tools you have available and the workflow that I, that I use. So before I get started I'll just quickly go over the difference between setup and animate mode. Setup mode, which I'm currently in, is where you create your bones and attach your images to those bones. Animate mode is where you bring your characters or other types of assets to life. I'll be going into more detail with this later on. For now, I'll just be going back into setup mode. So in the bottom here, we have the main toolbar, and I'll be going into a little more detail uh, what the different buttons do as I use them. On the right side here, we have the tree, and as you can see, there's some buttons up here in the top. Uh, these are for filtering. The, we have filtering of bones, slots, and images, then we have this button here that will make the uh, tree update to whatever you have selected in the viewport so you can actually follow it. Uh, then as you can see there's already a skeleton created and this is uh, done automatically when you create a new project. It will create a skeleton with a single bone underneath it called the root. Then we have images node, skins node and animations node. In the top left corner we have the main menu as you can click the logo here and it will pop up. You can create a new project, you can create a new skeleton, or you can export. So that covered, I'm going to get started on showing you uh, the workflow that I prefer to use and just generally how I, I like to do things in, in Spine. So let's get started with that. First thing I like to do when I'm creating a new asset um, is to find a uh, template of the entire thing put together. So I'll be using the Spine Boy example for this, and you can find this under images, examples, and spine boy. And I'll just go down here and I'll find the template, which is just called spine boy. Left click and drag it into the viewport. Go down here to the left corner of the viewport and click this button here, which will make it zoom to fit. And with that done, I go down to the main toolbar, find the options panel here or options group and I will disable selection of images. Then to create a new bone, you need to first have another bone selected so it knows which bone to actually create it under. I'll just select the root bone and then click the create button here. And the first bone I want to create is the hip bone. So I just left click here and then I will create, I'll just create the one leg for this video here and I left click and hold it down and drag down and then another one and lastly I'll be creating the foot here so currently as you can see it's created these three new bones here or four new bones sorry and I want to rename them and there's two ways you can do that just select it click rename here but also you can just double click it and I'll just be doing that. We'll create, uh, call the first one here hip. Second one here is the right upper leg and the right lower leg and the right foot. So with that done, I can now start dragging in the images that I want on top of uh, the bones here. But before I do that, I want to change the template image to be a little uh, more transparent and also change the color slightly. So I'll select the spine boy slot here, which was created when I dragged the image. If you expand the uh, slot, you can see the image below it. I'll select the slot, go down here, click these, this button here, and it opens the color dialog. So just change the transparency, change the color a bit. Now I can easily distinguish my template from the um, images that will actually be attached to the bones. So once again, I'm just going to make this a little smaller, expand the images again, and I'll start off with the right upper leg image. So to attach that, I'll just select it and click set parent, or you can hit P and select the bone that I want it to be parent to. As you can see, it pops up a small dialog here and it asks me for the name of the new slot. I'll just be hitting OK. Then the next one I want is the right lower leg. I'll hit P and I click the bone, OK. 
and then the right uh, foot. Another way I could actually put it on the bone is actually just dragging it up and dropping it here on the bone and the same thing will happen. Now, uh, uh, the images here are not in a perfect position, so I want to uh, position them a little better. The way I can do that is I can click the translate button or uh, click V on the keyboard and then move them around. But as you can see, I cannot select the image, so I need to go down into options and enable selection of that again. With that selected, I'm just going to move it, uh, the images into place. And I'll just be doing this relatively uh, rough for this video. And there we go. And one more thing I want to do before I, I start tweaking the position of, of the images that I just dragged in is to go and, and change the draw order. So once again, I go to the tree. I'm just going to minimize the images and then expand the draw order node here. As you can see, currently the right foot is drawn on, uh, on top of uh, all the other slots. And I want the lower leg here to be drawn behind the upper leg. So just left click and drag that down below the upper leg. And now I have the draw order that I want. I could already get started on actually animating this, but before I do that, I want to make sure that the images uh, are actually attached to the bones correctly. So, for example, if I select the bone here and the second bone and, and hit C or click down here to change the rotation, I can preview how the uh, images will look when I start rotating the bones. As you can see right here, the knee, I'm just going to scroll down with the mouse to get a little closer. It doesn't look very good. So I'm just going to undo that, Control C, and zoom out again, and then change the position of the bones a bit. So to do that, if you have one of the transform tools active, you can select the bone, uh, just deselect everything here with space, but select the bone and drag the tip here to change the length of the bone or you can change the length down here in the uh, properties panel of your selected item. So change the length just slightly and then hit C to rotate. But what will happen, oops, let me do that again. What will happen now is that it will actually rotate the entire chain. So to stop it from doing that, and I also don't want the images to follow, I'll put on uh, bone compensation and image compensation. Now I can rotate this bone without bones and images following with it. I'm just going to rotate it slightly here. I'll select the second bone and hold down my right mouse button to pan the view a bit. And then hit V to select translation and move this bone slightly and then rotate that. Change the length of it and there we go should be a little better now. It's still not perfect, but it will do for this video. And as you can see now that I still have uh, bone compensation on, images and bones are acting a little differently uh, from what they did before. So undo this again, disable the bone compensation, image compensation, and now I can rotate. And it is looking a little better. It's still not perfect, but it will do for this video. So, fit everything again here, and now we are ready to animate. In this first part of the two-part quick overview video, we've covered some basics of how you set up your own character or whatever it is you're working on, and you should now be able to use this knowledge to create your own things. In the next video, we'll be going into animations, the tools you have available, and more specifically, the workflow I prefer to use. I hope you found this uh, video useful and I will see you next time. Bye for now.